Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues as we go inside the NWCA All-Star Classic. 125 pounds, that's what's up today. One half of that weight class joins us from Campbell University, Nathan Kreiser. Nathan, how are you? I'm good, Scott. How are you doing? Good, man. Congratulations, getting the invitation, accepting the invitation, and then... You get to know who your opponent is, and it's Barlow McGee from Missouri. You guys have never met, have you? No, we've never got the chance to wrestle each other. I love that. So this is, um, well, let's let's face it, uh, two guys looking to break through uh, for All-America Honors. Last year, you went one and two in New York City. This year, your mm-hmm. goal is firmly set, uh, sights firmly set on St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, yep. you, you came to, uh, to Campbell for several reasons, one of which I got to believe is Kerry Colat. Yeah, he um, he's I've known him for a long time. He was my club coach, and I really like the way he um he coaches. That's a big reason why I went to UNC, and a big reason why I went to Campbell. I like his coaching style and the not just the techniques he shows, but his his mindset, his wrestling mindset, and just the person he is. He's an honest, straightforward guy. He tells you. He doesn't lie or play games. He, he tells you what he's thinking. He's very straightforward, and I like that in a coach and a person. That's that's a major reason why I continued to uh, follow him wherever so, he was coaching. So was it was it 2013 when you were transferring from UNC? Take us through the transfer. Um. So there's some. Coach, I think. Uh, Coach Colat wanted to get out of UNC. Right. I don't know all the details, but a job opened up at Campbell, and it was pretty close. And um, he had guys that he wanted to take with him, sure. and I was one of them. And I went up and looked at the school, and and um, that was after my sophomore year. And um, I thought Campbell was just a – he didn't pressure me into it. He didn't – he didn't try to force me into it. He's like, if you want to come, that's awesome. And then I coach CD Mock, the head coach at UNC at the time, said, anybody who wants to follow Kerry to Campbell, like you'll get a full release. Like I know a lot of you came here for him, so that was a stress reliever. But um, the was biggest C- issue... That was CD looking out for his athletes, as he should, and, and CD Mock, I think, is a stellar guy. Yes, yeah. He was very that was nice of him to clear the, clear the air on that. But the biggest issue, I like Campbell. I like the school. It's a small town. It's perfect for just going to school and wrestling, which is what I'm here to do. The only issue was um, they had a, a postseason ban. They had an APR issue. Right. So that's why when I that's part of the reason that I redshirted the year I transferred because they could not compete in uh, the conference tournament or national tournament. So the the biggest issue was making sure. If I transferred, I would be able to compete in the NCAA's like in two years, like make sure they got their their ban lifted, which which is what happened. So that all worked out well. So 2012, 2013, transfer from UNC. 2014, 2015, made the Southern Conference honor roll with a GPA of 3.0 or better. Did not participate, so that's your red shirt. 2015, yeah. 2016, NCAA wrestling qualifier, New York City. Now we go to 2016, 2017. This looks to be a year that you can call your own. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I wrestled at 133 last year, and uh, I'm dropping back down to 125 this year. We got a uh, we got two new coaches in. Uh, Garrett Kiley came from Iowa State, and uh, Scotty Sentez came from Cal Poly, and that's more. That's awesome. That's more individual attention on all of us, and kind of talked it over with the coaches. I was. I was kind of light during the summer, and we came up with a good um, nutrition plan for me. I don't want to call it a diet plan because it's not it's just the way eating healthy, not dieting. So came up with a good uh, nutrition plan for me to make weight right and feel good down at 125, and I think that's where I can do the best this year. So that was uh, made the decision a lot easier with uh, their support behind me and a good a good plan to go with it. So you you went from thirty three to twenty five. You're still at five foot nine, though, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've shrunk. <laughs> I don't think you have either. That was more of a joke. What do you know about your opponent? Uh, Barlow McGee. He um, I've seen him wrestle. Um, 
he kind of burst onto the scene last year when he beat Moisey. In my mind, that's when I really kind of took notice. Um, I know he's short, uh, explosive, and he wrestles hard the whole time. He's got a lot of close matches um, on his resume. And he's a competitor. He's He was round to 12. He was close. He has close matches with top guys. He beats top guys, so it will be a fun match. I think it's going to be – I think it really is an outstanding matchup because both were on the doorstep. Um, so here's the deal. You are Campbell's first ever competitor at the All-Star Classic. We're watching Campbell and reporting on it as well. We're watching Campbell mm-hmm. take these steps toward being a, a top 20 program. It's guys yep. like you that are making the difference out of Ellicott City, Maryland. There is something going on in Maryland. I don't know. It's guys like yeah. you. There's Snyder. There's, uh, uh, was it, Helen Marulis. Um, yep. I mean, there's two gold medalists <laughs> right there, but there's something going on. Can you identify what that is? Um, I guess I'm going to be giving Kerry Cole a little more credit. He, when he came to Maryland, he started the club, and that started, it helped get uh, Maryland organized and get people. Um, Kind of going to the national scene more, going out, like getting better competition instead of just wrestling within Maryland and getting that experience. And Snyder and Helen had both been to uh, Coach Collette's club when he was there, but they worked otherwhere too. But it kind of started a foundation of like, Maryland's good, like we can do this stuff. And that I think that helped kickstart. And it's continued even after Carrie's left, they're still club still people doing well making noise in maryland and at the high school level and um junior league so it's good that we um i think that kind of kick-started it they got a big thing was getting fargo organized getting um right. we didn't we used to have like 15 guys go out every year and now we're up in the 40s 50s every year so that that really helps guys in the season and get get some college looks and know what it takes to be successful and i think that helped uh, a lot of us, and I know Kyle was the, out there, and uh, Helen, they both won titles at Fargo, so I think, you I think the that nail was kind of the head, building though. block. I, yeah. I truly do believe that you, after all this time of asking this one particular question, what's going on in Maryland, Nathan Kreiser nails it, the senior out of Campbell <laughs> heading to the NWCA. He identifies Kerry Collette and the effort that Kerry put forward in Maryland, putting together a team program or a program that would uh, uh, elicit great participation from wrestlers and that's exactly what it is uh, i've been waiting for somebody to identify it and help me you know put the uh yeah put the nail in the head. and you did it dude so what's your uh, area of study uh i'm doing um sport administration that's my that's my major Okay. So staying within, I've always been interested in sport and kind of staying within that category. Well, it's interesting to see, you know, what you are doing and following in the footsteps of great guys like Kerry Cole, and who's one of the most respected in the sport, by the way. So uh, mm-hmm. we would surely appreciate that. We're talking about the NWCA All-Star Classic. It takes place a little bit later on this week. You want to be participating in the event. You can find out right. more online at, uh, at uh, goallstarclassic.com. It's hosted by the Wrestlers and Business Network, which perhaps is uh, one of the greatest things that NWCA ever did with the All-Star Classic, turn it over a group of business people, and they run it like a business and not a charity. I love that. All right, so we're yeah. looking forward to seeing you. When will you actually get to uh, Cleveland State? Um, after, after classes on Friday, I'll be flying out and uh, getting there Friday evening, so... Friday night. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing you. Moreover, I'm looking forward to making the introduction of you and Barlow uh, at at the uh, Wolstein Center. You've never wrestled at the Wolstein Center, have you? No, sir. I have not. This is kind of like a test run. We're going to be taking the NCAA championships there here in a year or two. And uh, and I can't, I I tell you what, Cleveland and Cleveland State, the city of Cleveland and Cleveland State, are uh, you know putting the bells and whistles on for us, so I think it's going to be a good experience for everybody. Well, partner, oh, yeah. I appreciate you taking the time. I'm going to give you right now, Nathan, I want to give you the opportunity to send out a personal invitation to everybody out there that knows you, knows about you, or would like to hear from you, and who do you want to talk to, to invite, to come to this event? Um, I just want to invite like all family members, of course, and uh, club coaches that help, have helped me throughout the years, Coach Greg Hagel, and obviously Kerry, Jay LaValle, uh, some of the McDonough coaches in Maryland, they played a part too. And just, um, yeah, and um, 
Mr. Uh, Mr. Heil, Dean and Josh Heil's dad, he's, he lives out in Cleveland, so it's not that long of a drive for him to get down, so it'd be awesome to see him there. Yeah, I, I think it would. I, I got a pretty good appreciation for Dean Heil, that dude can wrestle, and I know that. Yeah. Uh, anyway, seriously, that's some lights out right there. I like that guy. Hey, I'm looking forward to meeting you in person, Nathan. I know that you and I have never met, but uh, I'm sure we're going to have a great time. A lot of great guys in the lineup, and I think uh, the fans that will be in attendance will, will be grateful for a good opportunity to see incredible wrestling, but also uh, the fans that will be watching online at uh, trackwrestle.com. The 2016 MAC champion for Missouri, Barlow McGee, will face this young man, Nathan Kreiser, 2016 SOCON champ at 125 pounds. The battle is yet to be waged. We'll see it in Cleveland at the Wolstein Center on the campus of Cleveland State. I'm Scott Casper, thanking Nathan Kreiser for jumping into the Nike hot seat today. Nathan, I appreciate the time. Thank you, Scott. Thanks for, ha thanks for having me.